furious queen never bury the hatchet Camilla with queen title as duchess got on royals wick. A gradual changing of the guard is underway at Buckingham Palace. The queen is slowly stepping back from royal engagements due to her age, while Prince Charles is stepping into the limelight. He and Princess Anne comfortably lead the way in the number of royal duties carried out each year. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, is also shouldering more of the burden, meeting world leaders at the COP26 Leaders Summit last week, and Hollywood A-listers at the latest James Bond film premiere a few weeks ago. Investigative author and journalist Tom Bauer claimed in the Daily Mail in 2018 that the Queen had initially refused to have any interaction with Camilla at all. Mr. Bauer wrote that Charles became exasperated by what he termed an intolerable situation, and confronted his mother about it at Balmoral in 1998. He said, he asked that she soften her antagonism so he could live openly with Camilla. His hope was that the Queen, who rarely interfered, would at least not directly forbid it. But on that evening she'd had several martinis, and to Charles' surprise she replied forcefully, she would not condone his adultery, nor forgive Camilla for not leaving Charles alone to allow his marriage to recover. She vented her anger that he had lied about his relationship with what she called that wicked woman, and added, I want nothing to do with her. Charles was reportedly left distraught by his mother's comments, and stormed out, before tearfully phoning Camilla. Her Majesty's disapproval of Camilla, according to Mr. Bauer, wasn't limited simply to moral grounds. He wrote, she was also nervous that her character, exposed in the infamous Camilla Gate tapes six years earlier, was that of a shrewd mistress. Charles felt his mother had shown that she had little concern for his happiness, and Mr. Bauer alleged neither the Queen nor Queen Mother would allow Camilla to even be in the same room as them. Charles is reported to have changed his tactics following the Balmoral showdown. He invited her to the 60th birthday party for King Constantine of Greece in 2000, knowing that the Queen would not want to miss it. Mr. Bauer wrote that the Queen made it clear that she did not want to be introduced to Camilla at the party. The turning point, Mr. Bauer claimed, was the Queen Mother's death. Camilla was allowed to attend the funeral, albeit not as Charles' partner, but as a friend of the Queen Mother. Several years later, their engagement was greeted with a statement saying the Queen and Prince Philip were very happy that they could finally marry. The Queen did not attend Charles and Camilla's 2005 wedding because it would have gone against the moral compass of her position as head of the Church of England. The Duchess of Cornwall faces an issue regarding her future title, as a royal expert notes that it could be perceived as insensitive to be declared Queen shortly after the passing of the current Queen Elizabeth II. Ahead of her 2005 wedding to Prince Charles, Clarence House issued a statement to say that Camilla would be known as Princess Consort after her husband ascended to the throne, but several recent reports suggest that she could receive the Queen title. Following the separation of the Prince and Princess of Wales, Camilla's popularity suffered with the British public and she was frequently targeted by the press. This only worsened after the tragic death of Diana in a car accident in 1997, sparking an unprecedented level of mourning. In a bid to improve Camilla's reputation, Charles hired a public relations executive to help rehabilitate her image. In recent years, Camilla's popularity has drastically improved as she's championed women's rights and the safety of domestic abuse victims. According to a current YouGov poll, she is currently ranked as the 10th most popular member of the royal family, ahead of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. She also frequently accompanies the Queen during formal engagements, and is believed to enjoy a warm relationship with her mother-in-law. After ascending to the throne in 1952, the Queen has been on the throne for over 69 years and will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee next June.